In this video, we're going to look at comparing fractions, and we're going to use the closer to zero or closer to one method. So the idea is, is that if we had two fractions with different denominators, so let's say I had two fifths, and let's say I had, um, I don't know, seven eighths, which one is bigger? Okay, now, as adults, we probably know which one is bigger, so we would say, oh, seven eighths is bigger, two fifths is smaller. Okay, and of course we use this less than symbol to show that two fifths is less than seven eighths. Okay, but how are you going to explain this concept to your students? All right, so one of the ways that you can do this is using a closer to zero or closer to one method. So let's start with this idea of seven eighths. So I'm going to have a line and we're going to let this represent zero and this represent one. Okay, well, if I'm talking about eighths, Zero is the same thing as zero eighths. And one is the same thing as eight eighths. Okay, so is seven eighths closer to one or seven eighths closer to zero? Seven eighths is closer to one. So it's closer to one. All right, now let's do the same thing with two fifths. So as I scoot back just a little bit, for two fifths, Again, here's zero and one. So if I'm doing fifths, then this would be the same thing as zero fifths. And this would be the same thing as five fifths. So is two fifths closer to zero fifths or is two fifths closer to five fifths? That's right, two fifths is going to be closer to zero. So if we use this idea, that 7 eighths is closer to 1 and 2 fifths is closer to 0, then we know 7 eighths is bigger. All right, let's try another one from start to finish. They go pretty fast, okay? So I'm going to pause it while I write another example. All right, in our next example, we're going to compare 7 twelfths to 4 ninths. All right, so we're going to use the closer to 0, closer to 1 method. So the first one I'm going to draw, we'll do the twelfths, okay? So this would be 0 twelfths, this would be 12 twelfths. So is 7 twelfths closer to 12 twelfths or 0 twelfths? 7 twelfths is going to be somewhere over here. So it's going to be closer to the 1 side than it is to the 0 side. Alright, now let's look at 4 ninths. So if I draw another one, 0 and one, I have zero ninths and nine ninths. So is four ninths closer to zero ninths or is four ninths closer to nine ninths? That's right, four ninths is going to be closer to the zero side. Okay, so that means seven twelfths is closer to one, four ninths is closer to zero, so seven twelfths is bigger than four ninths. All right, notice we were able to do this without making a common denominator. We will be making common denominators um, in the next couple sections, but right now we just wanna get the idea of size comparison by using zero and one to balance it out. All right, good luck. 